Greetings and salutations, Leo. Welcome back to Glen Echo Tarot. I have your April 2020 monthly reading. Coming right up right here. Um, what can I tell you? Uh, I'm still in quarantine, so this is what I'm doing to not go crazy. <laughs> so thanks for keeping me company. Um, I hope you're finding the readings insightful. Um, I had some fun doing some live, uh, live work on my Facebook page. You can follow me on Facebook, uh, Bon Echo Tarot. And, uh, and I went live. It was a lot of fun. And then I wanted to come over to YouTube and go live, but then I found out that you have to have a thousand subscribers. So, you know, we're all doing crazy things this week. So, if you want to help me out and press that subscribe button, the closer I get to being able to go live on YouTube um, to read for more people. Although, I don't know, I had quite a few on there last night on Facebook, but yeah, that's my goal uh, for now. So, uh, thanks for that. And uh, also, if you're looking, if you resonate with my readings and you would like a private reading, um, or personal reading, rather, uh, just contact me on the Bonnie Cotero Facebook page. Send me a message, put a post, anything you like and we can take it from there. So uh, for this month, I am doing a three card spread. Uh, the first card is the focus for you for this month, uh, and then another card for the background, and then another card for the advice. Now I'm gonna clarify them all, and then at the end, I'm gonna pull three oracle cards for your work and career life, your family life, and your love life. So this is just a general reading. This is not really focusing on anything else. So, oh, no, that's not ready. Not ready. Um, okay, there we go, there it is. Okay, so here you are, Leo. Leo, uh, this is the Two of Swords. So, this is indecision. This is also a lack of information. Um, you don't have the whole picture of whatever it is that you can't make up your mind on. Um, but, you know, you're coming at it from a purely intellectual standpoint. You may have been really emotional about it before. Um, and uh, this is also, you know, um, it's possible you're having some trouble sleeping at night, but who isn't under these circumstances? Uh, and, of course, you know, I mean, who knows what direction to go in right now. With the quarantine uh, and the lockdown and the social distancing and the not being able to work stuff has been really, really tough to navigate. So let's just take a look at the background. Ah, look at this. So it is a general reading, but we are talking about the Ace of Cups here in terms of the background of your situation. So you could be having difficulty making a choice in love. Um, or even, I'm almost getting the impression too that, you know, that maybe you weren't so much about partnership, but that you were more about taking care of yourself a little bit better without the need for a relationship. Um, so let me go to the advice. Okay, and we've got the devil. So, there could be some fear around, uh, around this decision. So now that we've got that all out there, let's, uh, let's get some cards to clarify these ones. So, central focus is we don't know what to do. And, uh, this may involve an earth sign, uh, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And, um, yeah, somebody who's, um, who's very nurturing and very grounded. Uh, who has a lot to offer you, actually. Uh, oh, and look at that. We've got two other cards. So, now we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is about things really changing. And I mean, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower card, these are all very common in my readings right now. And then we also have the Queen of Swords. 
So the Queen of Swords uh, can be uh, an air sign, which is a Libra, um, Libra, Aquarius, and um, Gemini. So um, if you are, you may be trying to make a decision between between two people. Maybe you thought you wanted to be with the Earth sign, and then something happened. This whole situation happened. And it's pointing you more into the direction of the air sign. Um, it could be too that somebody's cut something off or something needs to be cut off. Boundaries need to be set. So let's take a look at the background. So the Ace of Cups Hanged Man, this is all about, about decisions and not really feeling confident am I, about making them. So I'm actually wondering if you were having this trouble before all this stuff started. <laughs> um, yeah, and this has caused you a, a great deal of anxiety in the past. I, I think that that may be clearing for you now, though. The Wheel of Fortune often uh, turns stuff on a dime and actually um, can create circumstances where it's easier to make the decision so yeah this is about um this is about commitment and whether you're ready to make one or not so the devil your advice um the devil could be about fear could also be about addictions um um, and something about, you know, obviously we're all staying close to home. So maybe uh, this is the perfect opportunity for you to remain in a safe environment as you ponder these decisions in love. It's kind of like the situation may have bought you some time. And probably around the full moon is when you may be ready to discuss these things um, with whoever it is you need to discuss them with. Um, let's pull one more card. Yeah, I think that um, you just need some time. You just need some time. Uh, with family in, in your natural habitat to, um, to figure out where you're going to go on this. But I think that by the time you hit the energies of the full moon, you'll be ready to make the decision that you need to that's going to bring you into this place. Because this is what you want. You want, you know, your Ten of Cups. You want your Ten of Cups, which is total emotional fulfillment. Everything is beautiful. Um... And that's what you're going for. So one of the things I didn't do before I laid out all those cards was to find out... Oh, pardon me. Oh, in this hotel room, it's so dry. And then I get tired and I yawn. And so don't mind me. So I can stop doing the yawning thing. It just means I sleep now. Um, so the hidden energies that are going on is that something inside of you knows that everything's going to be fine. Um, you know, this is the wish granted part. It's just a matter of you actually taking the step towards it but you're you're a little in your head you're a little in your head Leo and so in terms of clarifying energies yeah I mean you know this this is not this is not a happy place for Leo this is a happy place for Leo this is where yes let's go a new passion in something this is cold and boring and dreary so um 
buy the full moon, I think that you're going to feel a lot more comfortable about whatever difficult decision or decision that you're afraid to make with regards to all of this. So I hope that was helpful. Now I'm about to pull the Oracle card. So this is my very special playing card deck uh, that was created by Marshall McLuhan back in the 60s. It's a collector's item right here. Um, and I, I haven't fully learned Cartomancy yet, which is the reading of regular playing cards, um, but I'm working on it. But Marshall's added a little phrase to each one of these cards. So, and it's better if I don't interpret what he says. I'm just going to leave it for your brain to figure out. So, what does Marshall have to say about your work, career, and money situation? You've got the three of clubs, so that's like the three of wands. The missing link was the greatest discovery of the 19th century. Is that, that's backwards for you. I wonder if it turned to that. I don't know. I should really check that and stop saying this. Sound like a fool. Anyways. <laughs> uh, the missing link was the greatest discovery of the 19th century. Alright, so for your family and home situation, which has become, you know, where all the action is these days, let's pull a card from the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. Love begins. I can't remember what other sign got this. I can't remember. This is about self-care. This is about a new chapter. This is about a new relationship. Okay? So, uh, any of those things can apply. And obviously, the better that you can actually love yourself, the easier it is for others to love you. So, don't forget that. Alright. And for love, I'm going to use the Oracle of E-Deck by Pam Grout and Colette Baron Lee. Because it's cute. Oh, no. No, I don't know that one. I'm going to do this again. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. This is what Leo likes. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. Enough said. So, thank you for keeping me company here on my quarantine. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Alright? We'll see you again later.